WTWO Sports with Omar Tello. Good evening, everyone. Big game at Bob Warren Field tonight between the top two teams in the West Division of the Prospect League. Terre Haute and Danville come into it, separated by just half a game in the standings with Danville in front. But the Rex have played well against them this season. Nice night for a game at Bob Warren. And here's Bat Boy Braden Rogers. He does a great job helping out the team. Look for a story on him this Thursday. Tied at one in the seventh, Hunter Cloak would like to keep it that way, and he does with the strikeout. He goes two and two thirds with just one hit. Bottom seventh, Roberto Enriquez is just robbed of a hit here by Cade Evans. Great catch by him. In the eighth, Gavin Dugas with an RBI single, and Danville takes a two to one lead. They pushed it to three to one going to the bottom of the eighth. That's when the Rex get going. Mason Spears with an infield single. Too much speed to get him. They're set up with first and second. Brings up Jalbert Mello, and he is clutched down the line. Austin Weiler coming into score cuts the deficit to three to two. Then it's Craig Shepard who will play the role of hero tonight. Gets down inside the line. Two run score and the Rex win four to three. Here's manager Tyler Wampler on the clutch win. Yeah, it was a fantastic game all around. Um, we've had close, tough battles against Danville thus far this season. Um, you know, Craig Shepard picked us up there at the end, so, you know, we're really excited. Um, we felt good the last two games, so we just need to keep it rolling. I'll tell you what, this is, uh, this is what baseball is all about. I mean, those are two of the best teams in the league, I think, and uh, you got to give it hats off to them. They played a great game, but, I mean, for us to come back, we hit balls hard all day, and then uh, to piece something together in the eighth was huge. The win moves the Rex to sole possession of first place with a 13 and 8 record. And if you'd like to meet the players, then you're in luck. They will be at the Terre Haute Chamber of Commerce on Monday. Players will be signing autographs, and Slugger the mascot will be available for pictures. There's also free hot dogs and drinks. The chamber is located at 6:30 Wabash Avenue, so be sure to stop by. In American Legion baseball, it was the semifinals of the John Hayes Invitational. Sullivan taking on Kokomo this morning at Terre Haute North, playing for a spot in the championship. But good pitching from Kokomo seals it with a 2 0 win. So they advanced to play Danville in the final game, and it's Danville cruising to a 9 3 victory to claim the championship. Congrats to them on a great tournament. And we'll close with the Reds and Cubs in the final game of a four game set. Cincinnati going for the sweep. The Reds winners of six straight, and we pick it up in the fifth. Two on for Jason Hayward, and he goes to the opposite field. Nearly a home run, but that's just a double. Still makes it 2 to nothing Chicago. Next batter is Anthony Rizzo, and that's got to be fun to hit a baseball that far. All of these runs coming with two outs, by the way. Five-run inning for the Cubs. To the seventh, Jesse Winker pinch hitting for the Reds. He takes Pedro Strope deep to left. Three-run homer cuts it to 6-5 Chicago. Same inning for Joey Votto, and that line drive is enough to score the go-ahead run to make it 7-6 Cincinnati. They push one more across and win 8-6. They sweep the Cubs and win their seventh straight game. Nobody wants to play Cincinnati all of a sudden. Other scores, the Cardinals beat the Brewers 8-2. Luke Weaver with five and two-thirds innings and nine strikeouts for St. Louis. Jose Martinez and Marcel Ozuna with home runs. And in Chicago, the White Sox beat Oakland, but Terre Haute native Josh Fagley got in the game today and had a chance to pinch hit. Hopefully, he'll get some more at bats in the coming days. And that's a look at sports. We're back with the Reynolds wrap after this.